durch Auswertung der gesamten By evaluating all the imaging and particularly the special examinations, it can be determined whether a patient needs surgical treatment. If this is confirmed, it is necessary to distinguish exactly how many bypasses the individual patient needs. As already mentioned, each patient has six areas of blood supply in the brain. This means that we can place a maximum of six bypasses in one patient. But don't worry, this is extremely rare. The aim of surgical treatment is always to improve the blood flow to the brain. But how can one imagine such a bypass operation? Patients usually have a so-called temporal artery, which is located at the temple. This runs upwards in front of the ear and then usually splits into two branches, the frontal and parietal branch. In particular, for bypasses of the middle cerebral artery, which is also the most commonly operated bypass, the parietal branch is usually used. You can now imagine that you prepare this branch of the vessel from the subcutaneous fatty tissue under the surgical microscope. Once you have prepared this vessel to a length of around 6 to 7 centimeters, you will disconnect this vessel at the end and can place it inwards to the brain. To do this, the skull must be opened over a small area of around 4 centimeters. If you now imagine that you can see the surface of the brain, like this is my hand, you can say that individual brain arteries run here. You then take these brain arteries and clip them temporarily to stop blood flow and then suture the vessel from the outside that you have brought in to create a so-called end-to-side anastomosis. That means we prepare and connect the end of the donor vessel to the side of the recipient vessel in order to then allow more blood to flow into the brain from this point on. And in contrast to normal blood flow, which is distributed from the inside to the outside along the brain vessels, we now reverse this blood flow at this point. This means that the blood flow in these patients will then flow retrogradely or backwards from the outside to the inside. As already mentioned, up to a maximum of six bypasses can be placed in patients. However, two to four bypasses are usually sufficient. When it comes to bypasses, a distinction must be made between direct and indirect bypasses. Direct bypasses are usually placed for the middle cerebral artery and the posterior cerebral artery of the brain. In general, the temporal artery, which we use most frequently for bypass surgery, has a diameter of around 1 to 1.5 millimeters. The artery on the surface of the brain is of a similar size. We then connect the two vessels under the surgical microscope at maximum magnification with a suture that is significantly thinner than a human hair, with a total of six to eight single stitches. This direct connection allows more blood to flow from the time of the surgery. Indirect bypasses are very often used to supply blood to the frontal areas of the brain. In this case, either the donor artery of the temporal artery or the recipient artery of the brain is simply too small for direct suturing. We then have diameters of less than 0.5 to 0.8 millimeters. When indirect procedures are used most commonly, the so-called EDAS is performed. Here, the two arteries are placed side by side. We still don't fully understand how it works, but over the next few weeks and months, the body manages to connect the two vessels and over time, more blood flows. Over time, the bypass will adapt to the needs of the brain. In other words, if there is a high need for more blood, the vessel will grow, its diameter will increase, and it can then become up to three or four millimeters in size. This is then comparable to the thickness of the middle cerebral artery. This increased blood flow then ensures that the brain's needs are adequately met. Patients also often report that when the vessel has grown a little larger, they can feel an increased pulsation in front of the ear, which is a sign that the bypass is working well and more blood is getting to the brain. <laughs>